About a year ago, I got the awesome opportunity to host a reality TV show about hot glass art called Blown Away. The first season came out last July, and we wrapped filming on season two right before the lockdown started. The night that the show came out on Netflix, a local glass studio called LA Glass Center invited me to a watch party. The LA Glass Center is a studio in El Segundo, about 15 minutes from my house, and the owner is a guy named Joe Cariotti. Over the course of the last year, we filmed all sorts of wacky, crazy science experiments at Joe's studio. However, there was one thing that really stood out to me. One day, Joe created a little glass ball, and he didn't anneal it, so he just let it cool in the open air. Annealing is the process of letting glass cool off from about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit down to room temperature over several hours. This allows the glass to work out stress points at a molecular level and prevents the glass from cracking down the road. Usually when you throw glass on the ground, it shatters. However, when Joe took this little glass ball after it cooled off and he threw it on the ground, it bounced all over the studio. And I like literally couldn't figure it out. It like blew my mind. So this got me thinking, why didn't this little glass ball break? And would it have if we didn't anneal it first? And how big could we make a glass ball before it cracked? And would it always bounce around like the little one that's the size of a marble? So we're gonna meet up with my friend Cedric at Joe's studio to find out. We're here at the LA Glass studio and I'm here with Cedric. Cedric. What's up? <laughs> What's your prediction? Um, I think we're gonna get these balls bouncing. They're not gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Yo, before we get started, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram, Cedric Mitchell Design, or my website, CedricMitchellDesign.com. All right, so we're gonna start with something the size, roughly speaking, of a marble. What's this thing called again? This is the... This is the Glory Hall. <laughs> Glory Hall. <laughs> That's the craziest part. This is when you just like knock it off, and it just rolls around the floor. I'd say that's like the size, a little over, that's like a large marble. All right, and how long should we let that chill, do you think? 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna hope, hopefully, at this size, it does not crack, but we'll find out. All right, for this test, we're gonna see how big we can make something unannealed. We're gonna get this thing off the punty. We're gonna just hope that it doesn't crack, but if it does crack, then we'll know that that's the upper limit. I don't wanna to get too close to that thing because that's holding a lot of potential energy right now. And so it's basically like a little glass grenade. We're just gonna chill over here. So while we're running our unanneal test, we're going to start making the glass ball in different sizes that will eventually anneal. We're gonna start with something about the size of a cherry, and then we're gonna work up to a golf ball and about a large grapefruit. And then as big as we can, a small pumpkin? A baby melon. A baby melon, <laughs> there we go. All right, so how long are we gonna put those in the annealer? So we're gonna keep it in there for about 14 hours. So then after 14 hours, all the stress points will be worked out and we can essentially throw them, right? Yeah, bounce it on the ground, you can throw it in a mailbox, you can play basketball. <laughs> All right, so it's been about a week, and the last time I was in here, we created a unannealed glass ball. It's right here, it has survived. They're literally still intact which if you know anything about glass at all, that is like crazy. These things should blow up and explode within like a couple hours after creation. There's a theory that perhaps that it actually kind of anneals itself because of the shape so that it's like cooler on the outside, hotter on the inside, and it kind of works itself out. Over here we have uh, three glass balls, three glass spheres that we annealed. And so they're not perfectly round, they're kind of like spherical-ish. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to do the drop test and we're gonna see if they bounce or if they break. All right, so we're gonna test this one first. This is the unannealed glass sphere. Probably shouldn't even be holding it like this. It could explode at any point in time. And so I'll be wearing a face shield. Three, two, one. That is ridiculous. Nothing. Rock solid. <laughs> All right, so this is the annealed glass sphere. I'm just gonna throw it straight down because I don't think it's gonna do any damage. Hopefully it doesn't snap a light. <laughs> oh, 
He says, I don't think it'll break anything. So far, so good, guys. Don't tell Joe. I don't even know where it went, but it definitely was in one piece when it left. It went in this, this section? Oh, it's right here, dude. No way you found it. No way you just found that. <laughs> All right, so pretty incredible that this little tiny glass ball uh, survived me literally throwing it down on the ground as hard as I possibly could. I mean, it's kind of like a marble when you think about it, but like that literally just bounced over top of a one-story wall. So I'm pretty confident in the other pieces now. This is the medium size, almost baseball size glass ball. I'm gonna kind of aim that direction instead so I don't damage anything. Literally, no, not, not even a crack, nothing. All right, so this is our small grapefruit slash, I'd say softball size, roughly speaking. Uh, it's kind of oblong, so it may crack just because it may hit at a, at a cleaving point. <laughs> no problem what? at all. I just dropped a huge chunk of glass. No problem at all. No problem at all. Okay, so you can see here, there's some damage on the outside, but like literally, there's no cracks through the actual sphere itself. This is glass. This stuff is supposed to shatter. Like, what happened? So what I wanna do is I wanna take the small, medium, and large, uh, and I wanna take this back to the lab, and I wanna do a couple more tests back there. Okay, so I'm up on my garage right now, because I wanted a little bit more distance to throw these glass balls down on to test how durable they actually are. Survives, bounces, just like it did in the studio. Okay, also bounces, no cracking, no shattering. <laughs> That's a, that is impressive. I mean, it's just glass. think he's gonna break the concrete before the actual glass ball is gonna break. That is impressive. The, the strength of a glass ball is like crazy. Okay, there we go. We made a bunch of different glass spheres. We made a small and medium uh, unannealed. We made a small, medium, and large annealed. And what we basically found out is that glass spheres, no matter which way you actually make them, are really strong. We bounced them all around Joe's studio and I even dropped them through them from the top of my garage. So let me know in the comment section down below, where should we go from here? Should we make larger glass spheres? Should we drop them from higher structures? Let me know who you think would be a good channel to collaborate with in order to keep this trend going. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon.